In this edition of ISO Watch, I am looking at Ultimate Edition 5.0 Mate Light, right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. we begin, I need to make a few small points. This is not a review. You are watching a usability experiment in a virtual machine. You are getting my initial impression of the software. I won't miss any elements which are transparent to end users on first glance. I do not take the time to research features. That is your responsibility if you want to try the software. I will not spend enough time with this distribution to form a valid opinion. Viewers who are offended by this policy are advised to peruse alternative venues for their edification. With that out of the way, I give you Ultimate Edition 5.0. Ultimate Edition Mate Light is the ideal distribution for beginners who really want to have a taste of just about everything Linux has to offer. I mean, they've literally thrown everything in here but the kitchen sink. Now, uh, something I've got to say about this version, the Mate Light this is somewhat of a misnomer because the distribution weighed in at almost 3 gigs in file size, and when fully installed, this took up almost 12 gigs of drive space. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is quite a heavy little beast, but that's not saying anything bad about this. There's a lot of good stuff here. I love the dark theme and the icon set that they chose for this edition. It's very nice indeed. Um, a little bit of history. Now, uh, back in the day when I decided to try Linux and come back to it and start using it as a daily driver after I tried Linux Mint, I landed on Ultimate Edition, threw this into my CQ56, and uh, comp his and everything was working right out of the box, and I was like blown away, and I was like, wow. So I've always had a warm place in my heart for what Ultimate Edition brings to the table. We are looking at the Mate desktop, as indicated, and uh, it has a standard layout on the bottom here with the trash, uh, your desktop switcher, and uh, showing your desktop icon on the upper right. This is your... Um, this is your uh, status indicator. Uh, it tells you uh, what your CPU is doing. It tells you, um, you know, what your network is doing, and uh, it even has a graph for um, for your hard drive when it's uh, writing and it's reading and writing. Uh, power indicator. You've got the uh, calendar, volume control, language, and network here in the upper left. Your applications. Now, my goodness, they have thrown it all in here. Um, all the accessories you need for getting the most out of the system are thrown in with this, including a QMU for those of you who want to try that out. Uh, that is bundled in here for managing virtual machines. Um, a bunch of graphics tools are thrown in here so that you can uh, edit graphics and stuff. All the internet tools that you are going to need uh, for... Um, you know, um, chatting on the internet, looking up things, uh, even uh, watching uh, what is going on your network with Wireshark is bundled in here. The LibreOffice suite and a few other accoutrements are thrown in. You also uh, have a, a bunch of multimedia tools that are uh, bundled in here. Um, and a number of system tools. Wine for getting your Windows applications running. Uh, quick access to your places. We'll come to system in a moment because uh, uh, I want to mention you have Conky here. So now you have another on-screen indicator, and it's showing what my four cores are doing, and uh, it's showing how much memory is being used, and all that other fun stuff. Firefox, you get uh, Kodi Media Center. This is one of my favorites. This is Pythos, and Pythos lets you access your Pandora radio account, and you can listen to online music commercial-free with this application. I love it. Um, and you can skip 
songs as much as you like, but if you do it too many times, it will ban you from a particular radio station from an hour, and you'll have to switch to another one. It's a good one, though. And then you have access to the Terminator terminal here. All right, here's another fun thing that makes um, Ultimate Edition shine. Um, if we go into uh, Preferences, Hardware, and the look and feel here, my goodness... They've got it all in here. Now, um, Compiz is loaded with this, but it's not turned on by default. We'll look at it and we'll look at it shortly. But um, if you go into your appearance settings, you're gonna see here they have tons and tons and tons of lots of dark themes too. <laughs> Yeah, they've got some really cool themes, and it's like some of these themes I just want to, you know, uh, I've said before in a previous uh, look at uh, Ultimate Edition that I was just going to go in into, into the uh, user share uh, directories and start nicking icon themes and, uh, you know, other themes out of the system, you know. But, I mean, there are a lot of different options in here. So, if you, I mean, this is a customizer's dream come true. Um, if you want to give this a different look, you can, you know. Uh, and there are, they've always bundled a lot of them in here. Uh, this one doesn't seem to have the Christmas ones, though. They had Christmassy ones before, and that sort of thing, but, oh well, it is what it is, you know, <laughs> um, a number of backgrounds also come preloaded with this, for some reason they're not displaying for me at the moment, uh, but they did have a lot of them in here when I uh, checked, ah, here they go, so all the wallpapers and everything from all the previous editions of uh, Ultimate Edition are in here, uh, some of them are very colorful, very nice, lots of fun. You know, uh, hey. <laughs> Gotta love it. Let's go back to the new wallpaper here. Okay. Um, manage your fonts here, and you can manage your uh, user interface right here as well. You know, um, and of course, did I mention 3D? They did not... I didn't see a fusion icon loaded with this, but the thing is, you can have some pretty cool 3D effects with this if you want to. And so, by pressing Alt F2 and running Compiz hyphen hyphen replace, You can now navigate your desktops in 3D. <laughs> and yeah, this has a bunch of uh, wonky little uh, effects in here. Uh, you know, you can wobble your windows and menus and <laughs> do all kinds of fun things with it. So Ultimate Edition is a fun little toy if you're a newbie to Linux and you just want to have a little taste of everything that there is out there. There is nothing light about this distribution, but that's not taking anything away from it. Um, it's a lot of fun, and if you're new to Linux, you really owe it to yourself to give this a try, especially if you have um, some decent hardware. Uh, you know, if you if you have some modern hardware to run this on, uh, this will be very, very nice, and it'll be a lot of fun to play with. I know I enjoyed it uh, back in the day when I was new to using Linux as a daily driver. Look through these menus. There are so many really cool things in here. And in the allotted time frame that I have for these ISO Watch videos, there is absolutely no way I could cover all of this stuff. So do yourself a favor. Click the link in the description. Download a copy of this. Burn it to disk or USB and try this out for yourself. That's all I have on this. I am not sure what I'm going to be doing in my next episode of ISO Watch, but I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. And until then, peace out. Mm -hmm.